All right, now let's get your react- reaction to some breaking news, okay? Tough. So we're going to get Ken Rosenthal on soon. We're going to show you what the Dodgers just sent out in a press release. I'll read it for everyone. Today, the Dodgers are announcing right-handed pitcher Walker Bueller, who's recovering from Tommy John surgery, will not return during the 2023 season with an eye toward coming back at the start of the 2024 campaign. And here's the quote from Walker. He said, my goal since last year has been to return to a major league mound this season. After many conversations with my doctor, the Dodgers front office, training staff, and my fam, we concluded that waiting until next season is the right course of action. I'm disappointed I will not be able to help this team go after a title in the 2023 postseason, but I look forward to returning fully healthy in 2024 and bringing another World Series to L.A. Whoa. I only say whoa because I was doing a lot more digging on this before we learned of this news, and we'll get more context, like why, what happened, are you hurt, what was was there a setback or did they just sit down and say, hey, we're going to kind of rush you back to then throw you into October baseball. It's pretty unconventional. I, I did hear from some people around the team because we debated this, how many innings he would be prepared for. Initially, their plan was to get him ready for four to five innings. That's basically a starter in the playoffs, though, Kratzy. I mean, most dudes are only going about five innings in the playoffs when they start. He did two innings last weekend perfect in a rehab outing still had a few weeks that you could build up to and you can we've seen guys kind of build themselves up while they're in the bigs right could have seen a few innings from him then four innings and then get to five it doesn't matter now it's all done I, and what he said is what really sticks out to me where he said i was rehabbing to pitch in a big league big league season and if the dodgers are like hey you know what we're not really looking for you to be this role x role we're not going to really push this thing. And he's like, well, wait a minute. So you're saying I'm not going to have a chance? Like, I don't have a chance to pitch in the big leagues? Like, I think it's a great move. I think it sucks for the Dodgers. So if the Dodgers were in on this decision and it wasn't just Walkers, it sucks for them. That's tough. They are out. They're out Gonsolin now. They're out Urias. They're out. Bueller was going to be, I said, two to three inning guy. You were saying the other day, three to four, hopefully four to five. I'd have a hard time believing that. Still, that's innings. I'm trying to think. I think there's someone else they're missing. Dustin May. Oh, Dustin May again. It's a lot of dudes. They still have a lot of good young pitching, but those dudes haven't been there before, right? Pepio looked really good yesterday. He was carrying the Perfecto for a while. Bobby Miller's a dude. Yep. Emmett Sheehan's got good stuff. They've got a lot of good stuff, guys, but some of them have been iffy this year. But what do you think happened with either. Walker? Like, I mean, uh, we're he, probably going to get more context. He but, went two innings in AAA, too. Like so, he, so how does that happen where you do that? It, it, to me, if he did that last week and he felt something, that's one thing. It doesn't sound right, right? Because they would have said like something. Yeah. So, so did they sit down and say, oh, wait, never mind. We're not going to have you come back in this role. Do you think there was arguments behind the scenes on how he was going to be used? And yes. it was one of those Josh Hader stories where it's like Hader eventually said, listen, the way the arbitration system works, the way my arm works, you guys have used me in a variety of ways that are not the best for my health long term. And we've seen Hader have a lot of good longevity despite having, you know, he's got he's got emotion, right? Like he brings it. It is not low stress. And he's kept himself on the field. You get three outs. I don't care what you say. You get three outs. Is this pitcher taking care of himself first because he's the asset? 100%. I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go I ahead. don't know. Because yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm sure you got the good answer. There's got to be some more behind it, dude. I, it's weird. Like, is he still hurt? Something bothering him? Did he say, you know what? I'm going to take off now. I don't want to do this. I, I don't. Why know. would he say that though? I, he's in the prime of his career. We don't know. That's yeah. the problem. Do, do they think he's not going to be ready at the end of this month? I, I, I don't know, man. I'm not a pitcher. I, I don't know much about what he's going through. But there's got to be more to it. I, I just I, I can't speculate. I don't know. So he's made eight relief appearances ever in his career. Gotcha. And that was his first season. Only reliever. Every other appearance in the big leagues has been a starter except one, and that was in his second season. So he's going into arbitration. You also have to remember, he has, before this season, he has four years, 168 days. Yeah. They made sure he's not a free agent. This might be his chance to make sure he's 100% healthy going into free agency. <laughs> then that makes tons of sense. This is his second. Obviously, all this is speculation. We haven't talked to him. We don't know. 
But this is his second Tommy John. So why not just give yourself another five or six more months? Give yourself okay. a few more months. You're not, you're not trying to push it. And I think if they said you're not coming in to be a starter, he may have said, meh. Meh. Unga. <laughs> Unga. Unga. <laughs> so he gone. There's a lot of chatter right it, now. I think it's smart. But you look at it, like, oh, I'm not a team player. But guess no, what? save that. No, but save I'm just it. saying that's what some people will say. I mean, we got a player. We got a World Series to win. But guess what? You got to be smart with this guy. You got to be smart up here, too. Yeah. Yeah. His agent's probably talking to him, too, I would assume. Well, and some in the chat saying maybe they rushed him back. I mean, this is second Tommy John for him. And but it's threw, only been like, about 12 we months. We would have heard something if he was hurt. Right or wrong? Right. He, we got to ask If Ken. he was hurt, if he was in trouble, it's none of that stuff because they would say it. This yeah. is a conversation behind the scenes. Hey, Steven Strasburg, we're about to talk about too. He got shut down at one point coming off of Tommy John surgery. And I think it kind of changed the way we looked at pitching. It was like, I don't care about our team and winning this year. It's about long term. What's going to happen with you? Right. We've had that conversation. It's in the same realm here. Tommy John of like, when you come back, what's too soon? Second TJ is usually more difficult, 12 to 18 months. He's only on the 12 end. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll preview some games coming up tonight, including what the Dodgers have in the works. We'll take some of your questions. Maybe a caller will call us about that at the end of the show. And then we'll be joined by Ken in about 10 minutes when we swing back.